Creator of the world, we pray. Sometimes I feel people still see me as the person I was, but that person is not here anymore. People can really change. We close our eyes to sleep in hearts with Christ. Our vigils keep. Like people call me a rat, right? When the night I'm a rat, I'm an informant, I betrayed my dad. Well, I don't think I betrayed my father. He was going to jail anyway. But what I did do was tell the truth. I don't know. I've been looking. I know inside of me that way of life. It's really bad. And I'll tell you why I know it. Because I know this way of life is really good. Yeah, I'm a rat. Yeah, I'm an informant. I'm glad to be. I had spent 12 years in the witness protection program. Uh, I knew it was something I needed to do. I was excited when I heard Indianapolis. I remember uh, Marshall saying, you know, you have more time. You don't have to decide real quickly. Because he knew I really didn't know the area. They get you a car. They give you some money for clothes, a fair amount. I mean, it really sets you up again comfortable. This is home for me. I mean, everything in Indianapolis gave me something. I wasn't looking for it. Uh, I matured here. This is something I get to do every morning. It sounds crazy, but I have found a wonderful joy in the fact that for 10, well, longer than 10 years, 10 years in Indianapolis, I get to clean a little cat's litter that I get to take care of every day. Look, there's no way I'm supposed to be here. There's no way. I should have died a million times. I should have got sick from AIDS. I should have got all that stuff. And yet I'm here. Look, I don't know if I'm, if I'm going to live another 10 years, 20 years, or one day. But I do know that I could live in that day, that 10, that 20 years, to the fullest of my ability for me and for other human beings. Hell, I ain't going to be like them gangster stuff no more. I ain't going to do that. Live every day afraid of getting arrested, afraid of going to jail. It stinks. This is the way to live, to trust. To trust no matter what happens, no matter what's right or what's wrong. I'm, I'm going to live forward. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen people would say that uh, there's uh, i live behind a sober living home uh, we especially if someone's an alcoholic or an addict my job is is hopefully to have them make a connection with a, a spiritual experience. You get tired of, of being a disappointment to other people, of disappointing yourself. I mean, if I were to you know start drinking every day again, I would disappoint you. And that's one thing that I don't want to do is disappoint you or huh, you know, disappoint cool. my brother or my sister or, or the two or three friends that I've kept in touch over the years. So they for just, us, I like to say it's teaching men how to live in a community, how to live in a better way that they choose to live in. It's been a great experience staying here and uh, uh, been very helpful for me and uh, very productive for my life. And, uh, very yeah. grateful. They all know I'm sober. I'm extremely vocal in recovery meetings, okay? Uh, they know that I read. They know that I go to church. They. They know that I spend quiet time. They know that if 
if they're willing, there's a lot of benefit from a relationship with me. I wasn't here last week because uh, I haven't seen my father in 12 years. And the last time I saw him, I was testifying against him in court. And there's been a lot of bad press and stuff about that. And um, thanks to a lot of people and all of the above, I went to see him. And uh, I wanted to go see my dad. Well, because I wanted everyone to know that what he said in the papers about killing me, I knew wasn't true. And then he, he was kind of like, he got emotional. And he said, uh, let me ask you, what made you do that? Did they give you half a million dollars for that? And I said, no, Dad, because I didn't think so. And then he said, well, was it your mother? Did she talk you into doing that? And I said, no, Dad, it wasn't, Mom. And he looked at me and he, you're my son and I gotta love you. He goes, but you're crazy. <laughs> Sonny Francis has a way to not be Sonny Francis because I'm a son who is crazy and a father has to love his son. Is long.